Imagine, if you will, a time when the world was a little less complicated, and laughter was a universal language. It was the year 1976 when television screens came alive with a vibrant burst of soul, rhythm, and unforgettable humor. And in the midst of it all, there was What's Happening, a show that etched itself into the hearts and memories of viewers across the nation. For many, that first encounter with What's Happening was a revelation, a glimpse into the lives of the lovable trio of Raj, Dwayne, and Ruran as they navigated the ups and downs of adolescence and friendship in the gritty streets of Watts, Los Angeles. Each episode was like a warm invitation into their world, a place where joy and chaos danced hand in hand. Perhaps you remember the infectious theme song that had you grooving in your seat, or the uproarious laughter that ensued every time Raran attempted his ill-fated dance moves. And who could forget the endearing wisdom of Mama Thomas, whose guidance and love were the pillars of the show. But beyond the laughter and the catchy tunes, what's happening holds a treasure trove of random facts that you might not know. From the behind-the-scenes stories of the cast to the impact the show had on pop culture, there's more to this classic series than meets the eye. So, let's journey together through the fascinating tidbits and trivia that make what's happening. A show worth celebrating, even today. It's a chance to revisit those cherished moments and rediscover the magic that once graced our screens. What's Happening was a popular TV series that aired from 1976 to 1979 known for its significant impact on popular culture. The show was a spin-off of the 1975 film Cooley High and followed the lives of three African-American teenagers, Raj, Dwayne, and Rerun, living in a Los Angeles neighborhood. The series was distinctive for its portrayal of relatable, everyday struggles and teenage experiences, making it relatable to a broad audience. The iconic characters included Raj, the responsible and level-headed protagonist, Dwayne, his witty and mischievous best friend, and Rerun, the lovable and overweight character with a passion for dancing. Their interactions and escapades formed the core of the show's humor and charm. What's happening? was renowned for its catchy catchphrases and memorable moments, such as Rerun's dance moves and the catchphrase, hey, 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 made famous by the character. The series made a significant impact on popular culture by depicting the African-American experience in a positive light and addressing social issues subtly. It resonated with viewers of all backgrounds, showcasing the universality of teenage life. In summary, what's happening? was a groundbreaking TV series that portrayed the lives of three African-American teenagers, offering relatable humor and addressing important social issues. Its iconic characters, unique style, and cultural impact have made it a classic in the world of television. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening made its mark as one of the first sitcoms centered around the lives of black teenagers. It was a groundbreaking show that tackled the challenges and adventures of a group of African-American friends growing up in a Los Angeles neighborhood. One notable fact about the series is that Haywood Nelson, who played the character Dwayne Nelson, was the only actor to appear in every single episode. This consistency in his presence made him a central figure in the show's success. However, it's interesting to note that Ernest Thomas and Danielle Spencer, who portrayed Raj and Dee Thomas, were also credited for the same number of episodes as Nelson. Still, there were instances where they were credited but not actually in an episode. Another remarkable achievement of what's happening was its performance in the Nielsen ratings. Despite being one of the first of its kind, a sitcom about black teenagers, the show managed to crack the Nielsen Top 30 in the ratings during its run. This accomplishment reflects the series' popularity and its appeal to a broad audience. On a lighter note, the character D. Thomas played by Danielle Spencer earned a place in TV history. She was ranked as five in TV Guide's list of TV's 10 biggest brats, highlighting the memorable and sometimes sassy nature of her character. In summary, What's Happening? was a groundbreaking TV series in 1976, featuring African-American teenagers and addressing their daily lives and challenges. Haywood Nelson's consistent presence, the show's high Nielsen ratings, and the recognition of Dee Thomas as a memorable character all contributed to the series' significance in television history. In the 1976 TV series, What's Happening? The Thomas family lived on South Central Avenue, the same street as Fred and Lamont on Sanford and Son. 
This setting added a sense of neighborhood familiarity to both shows, as viewers could imagine these fictional families living nearby. Ernest Thomas, who portrayed Raj in the series, didn't actually need glasses. He wore non-prescription glasses for the character. This choice was made to give Raj a distinct look and personality, even though it wasn't related to his vision. During her time as Mabel Thomas on What's Happening, Mabel King starred in two of the biggest releases of the 70 Seconds, The Wiz and The Jerk. These films contributed to her success as an actress during that era. So, whether it was the shared street with Sanford and Son, Ernest Thomas Iwer choice, or Mabel King's involvement in major 70 Seconds films, What's Happening had its share of interesting connections and moments during its run in 1976. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening brought laughter to viewers' homes. One notable aspect of the show involves Mabel King, who portrayed Mama Thomas. She became more involved in the show's production and suggested changes for her character and others. However, her input wasn't well received, leading her to leave the show after the second season in 1978. Producers later regretted not considering her suggestions and letting her go. A tragic coincidence occurred in late 1999 when Mabel King and Shirley Hemphill, who played Shirley Wilson on the show, passed away just a month apart. Both deaths were related to complications from diabetes, highlighting the importance of health awareness. Lastly, a quirky fact about the show involves Fred Berry, known for his role as Rerun. He legally changed his middle name to Rerun, a testament to the impact of his character on the series. These insights provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics and personal stories associated with what's happening, a show that left its mark on television history. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening faced some behind-the-scenes drama. Eric Monte, who claimed to be the creator of the series, sued the producers. He argued that he didn't receive proper credit and was promised a producer credit. At the end of the credits, there was a title card that read, suggested by the American international picture Cooley High, written by Eric Monte. Eventually, an out-of-court settlement was reached in his favor. Interestingly, despite playing high school juniors in the first season, the actors had quite an age gap. Ernest Thomas was 27, and Fred Berry was 25. Only Haywood Nelson, at 16 years old, was of high school age. The show's storyline also took a hit when Roger and Dee's parents were divorced, and their father disappeared after remarrying in 1977. Mabel King, who played their mother, wanted the Thomas family to have both a mother and a father on the show, but the producers refused. This led to her decision to quit her role in 1978, as she was also unhappy with her reduced role in the series. These controversies added some intrigue to the world of what's happening, and shed light on the challenges faced behind the camera. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the memories of the 1976 TV series What's Happening, we invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic show. Perhaps you were there when it first aired, or maybe you discovered it through reruns or streaming platforms. Regardless of how you stumbled upon it, there's a reason why what's happening continues to hold a special place in the hearts of so many. Think back to the laughter it brought, the relatable characters, and the timeless life lessons it imparted. Whether you related to Raj, Dwayne, Rerun, or any of the other unforgettable characters, the show's humor and warmth left an indelible mark. Now, we encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or even the life lessons you've carried forward from what's happening. Did it spark a lifelong friendship or inspire you in some way? Did it remind you of the importance of family and friendship? Your stories and reflections breathe life into the legacy of this beloved series, reminding us of the power of television to connect generations and cultures. So, go ahead and share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation alive. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us. Your time and interest in what's happening are greatly appreciated.